The first step will be to rewrite this equation into standard form. And um, the standard form is dy over dx uh, plus p of xy is equals to q of x. All right? And I've explained that in my previous video, so I just don't have to go through it again. Um, <clears throat> so we are going to rewrite this equation into that form before we start uh, solving it. So step one. Okay, so what do we have? We have 1 plus uh, sin x dy over dx uh, minus y cos x is equals to 1 plus sin x to power 4. Um, so we can divide both sides by uh, 1 plus sin x so that we can uh, um, convert this equation into, we can write this equation into a standard form. So what we shall end up with is uh, dy over dx minus y cos x over 1 plus sin x, which will be equal to 1 plus uh, sin x uh, cubed. Okay, so step two will be um, to find p of x. So p of x will be this guy, all right? This guy plus the negative. All right, so our p of x will be so p of x will be um, negative cos x over one plus sin x. Now, step three uh, we will be finding the integrating factor, so find the integrating factor. And that will be e to power the integral of negative cos x over 1 plus sine x dx. And we need to find that. We need to find that integral. So, but the integral of negative cos x over 1 plus uh, sine x will be, now let u be equal to um, 1 plus sine x. So just using substitution here to integrate this guy. So d over dx will be equal to cos x, which means dx will be equal to du over cos x, all right? And so our integral will be um, negative cos x over u multiplied by du over cos x. And those guys will cancel. Remember, we have a negative. I've Yep, so what we shall end up with is uh, um, the integral of uh, negative 1 over u du, which will just be uh, negative ln u plus c, but you don't have to write c. We ignore it, so which will be equal to negative ln um, 1 plus c. Uh, sin x. Okay. So which means that uh, the integrating factor is equals to e to power negative ln 
1 plus sine x, which will be equal to a to power 1 plus sine x to power negative 1, which will be equal to a to power, um, oops, negative 1, which will be equal to e to power ln into bracket 1 over 1 plus sine x if you apply a loss of um, exponents. So this will be equal to 1 over 1 plus sine x. All right. So our integrating factor is equal to that. Um, and then the next step, step 4, Um, multiply both sides of the um, equation by the integrating factor. So multiply both sides of the equation by the integrating factor. Okay, so <clears throat> our integrating factor is 1 over 1 plus uh, sine x. Multiply that by uh, the left-hand side of the equation, which is dy over dx minus y cos x over 1 plus uh, sine x. Uh, Yeah, this bit. Um, so, and then here, 1 over 1 plus sine x multiplied by uh, 1 plus sine x cubed. All right, let's simplify. I'll just expand this. So, <clears throat> Uh, this will give us uh, 1 over 1 plus sine x dy over dx uh, minus y cos x over 1 plus sine x squared, um, which will equal to 1 plus sine x squared. All right. Step five. Um, so step five, you are going to integrate both sides. So that will be the integral of this side, 1 over um, 1 plus sine x dy over dx minus y cos x over 1 plus sine x squared. which will be equal to the integral of 1 plus sine x squared. All right. Now, here, on the left-hand side, what you're going to do is reverse the product rule. And another way to do that is to just multiply the integrating factor by y. All right, so that's exactly what you're going to do. Um, so our integrating factor is 1 over 1 plus sine x. Multiply that by y, and that should be equal to um, 
the integral of 1 plus uh, sine x squared. All right. So I'm just going to uh, carry on here, especially on the right-hand side. This is same as expand this. So 1 plus 2 sine x plus uh, sine x squared. Now, <clears throat> from our trigonometry, we know that uh, uh, this double angle formula, because 2x is equal to 1 minus uh, 2 sine x squared, right? It's checking your formula booklet. So that means that sine x squared will be 1 minus cos uh, 2x divided by 2. And that will be equal to a half minus cos 2x divided by 2. So which means that uh, this equation here, right, so this equation here, um, actually, let me pull it down here. So what I'll end up with here will be um, 1 over um, 1 plus sine x y will be equal to um, now I'm going to have the integral of 1 plus now I need to put this in bracket 1 plus uh, 2 sine x plus now instead of writing this bit I know that this bit is equals to that bit, which is equals to this bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna write uh, um, that is a half minus cos two x over two. All right, and then I can simplify that. So one over. 1 plus sine x y will be equal to the integral of uh, 3 over 2 uh, plus 2 sine x minus cos 2x over 2 dx. And now I can go ahead and integrate that. That will be 3 over 2x uh, minus 2 cos x. Um, minus sine 2x over 2 divided by 2, so that will be over 4 plus c. So, anyway, my general solution is uh, this. Um, 1 over 1 plus sine x y will be equal to that. So this is a general solution. Now, step six, I want to find the particular solution. So find the particular solution. At uh, x is equals to zero and y is equals to one. That's what you're given up here, all right? That is the boundary condition that we're given here. So we need to use that boundary condition to find the particular solution for this guy. So um, just plug them in into that equation. And what you're going to end up with is uh, 1 over uh, 1 plus sine 0 will be equal to sine 0. And y is uh, 1 will be equal to 3 over 2 multiply by 0, minus 2 cos 0, minus sine 2, 0, over 4, plus C. So, and then you end up with a 1 is equals to negative 2 plus C, and therefore C 
is equals to three. Which means uh, our solution will be, uh, just need to look at that. So that will be one over one plus sine x, y will be equal to three over two x minus two cos x minus sine two x over four plus c and c is three. Okay. <clears throat> Um, you can make y the subject of the formula. So y can be written as uh, um, 1 plus sine x, just multiplying the other side by sine x, um, 3 over 2x minus 2 cos x minus uh, sine 2x over 4 uh, plus 3. 